Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our slash just no mill. In today's episode, JNMIL cries BC I said to move out. Junil cries because I told her to move out update. My mill is insisting she will see my babies the day of delivery even after we pulled no contact on her. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. JNMIL cries BC I said to move out. Me, 22F, and my husband, 23M, have been married for two years now, and we're expecting to welcome our first child next month. I have always gotten along with my in-laws since dating my husband in high school. Keep in mind, my in-laws have a house in Pennsylvania that is fully paid off. They only had this apartment in NYC so that my BIL, 15, could stay for school cause they baby him, and he made a big deal about leaving NYC. In January, my in-laws offered us to take over the lease for their current apartment so that we could have our own home and space prepared in time for our son, note, we had been struggling to find one for two months due to outrageous NYC prices. They said they would be out by the end of January, which we gladly accepted. Before the end of the month, they changed their tune to ask if they could live with us for a few months so that JNFIL could find a job in NYC instead of going to Pennsylvania to find one. Junil wanted to just stay living with us since we're family. I told my husband no and they had to leave as they stated, but he has no spine and said they could leave from anywhere between mid-March to April 1st. Today, I was fed up and decided, after speaking and notifying my husband about this and what would be said, to text JNMIL about leaving by March 10th instead so I can finally paint the baby's room and because I didn't want to have my in-laws living with us. Bottom line, I nicely said I wanted my apartment and would not let them live with us. She simply texted twice that she had already talked to my husband about it already, very clearly ignoring my words. Husband texted me asking what I said because now JNMIL is hysterically crying and causing a scene cause I asked her, JNFIL and BIL to be out no later than March 10th. I'm so stressed out about this whole thing, I'm heavily pregnant, due in 4 weeks, and I feel like I'm going to have a mental breakdown. This is the first issue I've ever had with either in-law, and it's made me realize I have monster in-laws. Am I crazy for even asking her to leave by then? They've literally been staying for a good month now, meanwhile the lease is now under mine and my husband's names. And we just paid rent for this month. I think I've been too nice and lenient. Side note, I am Puerto Rican and husband is Mexican. I didn't grow up with the toxic masculinity or toxic family as everything mindset, but he did. Our marriage doesn't follow either of those, but since this whole apartment issue, he's been following the family as everything mindset. Update, husband called and said JNIL will be leaving on my deadline. Jufil says that after this he doesn't want a relationship with me anymore since I made JNMIL cry and cause I'm turning my back on family. It's funny cause I always tried to reach out first and he only spoke to me if he saw me in person and even with that it was half-assed convos. Junil is still upset but said she'll leave so I can have what I want and expects an apology from me. The only apology I will give her is I'm sorry if I offended you with the demands and expectations of my space and boundaries being respected. I told my DH that we need to sit down and discuss our marriage, expectations, etc. together, and he agreed. I also said that I will be LC will his parents after this whole ordeal, and if they want to have a relationship with their grandson, then they have to make the efforts to forge one. I refuse to be on their asses to make sure he has a relationship with them or update them on his milestones. Thank you all for listening to me, I know I'm probably still young and naive and way too nice for my own good, but it's something I will be working on for sure. I'll try to update y'all if some other shit hits the fan lol. Junil cries because I told her to move out update. Hey everyone. It's been quite some time since I last posted here and boy, do I have a lot. Junil and JNFIL moved out by said deadline, but kept trying to reinsert themselves into the home. Junil did not want to give me space or time with new baby, who is now 4 months old, 
and not even because she wanted to see him. She just wanted to act like she lived here still. Which DH invited her to see the baby, and she ended up stealing DH's copy of the apt keys, and made seven copies. Don't worry after much snooping and fighting we got them all back and changed the locks. She's not very loving with my son because well he's a boy and not a girl like she wanted, so I plan on keeping her distant from my son and any future children from now on. Especially after the events of today. My DH's younger cousin, YC, turned 14 today, and we decided to let her mother throw a small birthday dinner for her at our apartment DH invites JNMIL and JNFIL to be courteous since that's also their goddaughter. As we prepare to cut the cake, DH allows JNMIL to hold our son, I was not in the room to see this or object to it. As I give out the last slice of cake, I see JNMIL literally feed my son a bite of the cake. Now, I'm not sure if she just gave him the icing part, or if he actually had a piece of the loaf, but I saw red and my heart dropped. I snatched my son and walked to my bedroom, DH follows ready to argue since he thought I was just being rude to JNMIL, but then he saw the icing still on our son's mouth and flipped. He kicked JNMIL and JNFIL out of the apt saying how dare they feed him behind out backs, and when he hasn't been cleared to eat purees just yet, he's strictly breastfed until then. I cried because I feel like I failed to protect my son from that awful witch. I told JNMIL she will never set foot near me or my son ever again. And that includes future grandchildren. DH apologized for even inviting her thinking she changed and agrees that she won't see him at all. Junil is crying calling me evil and an awful DIL. My mill is insisting she will see my babies the day of delivery even after we pulled no contact on her. I am about 8 months pregnant now with twins and am due next month or September. I am F asterisk king huge. Anyways, after my mill made some sexist slash homophobic comments at a dinner table, I don't know if it was because of hormones or what have you I lost it and walked out on her. I told my husband I needed space from her because I was really done. He looked heartbroken and anxious when I told him that, but he nodded and understood. We haven't visited her home or spoken to her in about three weeks, but yesterday my husband woke me up and said that we needed to talk. His mother had been talking to him and begging him to see our babies the day we bring them back from the hospital. I shook my head and said no we need more time to think about it. I explained we need to follow COVID guidelines anyway, so she might not be able to see them the day of, and I do not want to stress out about her. I just want to enjoy the babies. Your sister and dad are fine to come, but I feel uncomfortable with her being there. We can send her photos if she wants them. Now when I say I got the biggest puppy dog eyes from my husband I am not lying, and I felt so bad for turning his request down. Was I the a asterisk asterisk hole here, should she be allowed to visit the babies and if so when? She's made pretty much every step of my relationship with my husband more difficult than it has to be while the rest of his family has always been more relaxed and welcoming. The thing is is that I would never deny a relationship between my husband and his mother I know that's not my place, and I want my babies to have a relationship with their grandmother, but I can't say I'm certain I'll ever be truly excited to see her. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and we will see you in the next video.